Hey, real estate fans, Alice Lima here, broker John O. Scott in beautiful Southern Oregon with another edition of the weekly podcast. And today we're going to talk about why 4 million baby boomer homes are not going to disrupt the market. Very interesting study done on behalf of the Mortgage Banker Association. You're going to be surprised at the results. Uh, before we get into that, I want to give you a quick second to subscribe to the channel because it really helps. Thank you. And uh, send me some questions. Give us a thumbs up. Send us some comments. Share with your friends. I want to take a quick second to welcome Lori and Brian to Southern Oregon. They closed on their house. It was, it was a thing. It's always a thing to, to buy a home, but they're here, they're happy and they're getting settled. So, uh, so welcome to Oregon, Lori and Brian. Uh, now let's jump into the podcast. Why 4 million baby boomer homes are not going to disrupt the market. So number one, number one reason, and this was Gary Inglehart's study done for the Mortgage Bankers Association. And he found that the baby boomer population will shrink so slowly, it's just not going to have a big impact on the market. In fact, he's predicting that it's going to be shrinking over a period of decades, and that's just not fast enough to meet our current short-term demand. Number two, there's a sustained demand coming from the buyer pool, and it's being influenced more and more every year by the millennial generation because they're coming of an age, they're at a time in their career and their life where home ownership is their next step. So they're a huge generation and they are having a big impact on the demand for housing, for, for home ownership housing. And the baby boomer generation is just not releasing those homes quickly enough to really help them. So you have two two stresses on the market, not enough coming in and more demand. And it's because the generation for the millennials is so large. Number three, there's just a sustained demand over time, at least through 2032, that, you know, the 4 million homes out there by my generation, <laughs> so I don't feel weird talking about this, um, you know, there's just a sustained demand at least through 20, uh, 2032 that the baby boomer properties are not going to have really a disruption in the market. They're not going to be a force. So that's really interesting. That's really interesting because that means that they can kind of continue with their uh, life plans. And a lot of, a lot of us are staying in our homes to the end. And that wasn't always the case in years before. Um, and then there's just also more longevity. Um, people are taking better care of themselves and living longer. So that's, that's the interesting study done by Gary Englehart for the Mortgage Banker Association. And that's why 4 million baby boomer homes, they're not going to disrupt the market. It's not enough and it's taking too long. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for listening. Uh, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to be your agent. I'm a great listing agent, great buyer agent, and uh, great with investment, first time home buyers. And if you are a, a baby boomer and you would like to sell your home and get on with the next step of your life, the market's still pretty good. I mean, we're balancing out. It's not officially a buyer's market. The seller's market is still, you know, a little bit ahead. We still have a few more buyers still than sellers. So still a tiny bit of a seller's market, but it's balancing out. So it's just not a frenzy. And quite frankly, that's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, give me a text. Give me a call. 541-301-7980. We'll see you next week. Have a beautiful weekend. Hug those you love. Bye now.